What's up, Cog Gang? All right, so we have a, a, a painter climbing a ladder, right? And uh, it wants us to know how much work does gravity do on the painter. Okay, so let's look at what we know here, right? So our weight is 75 kilograms, the ladder is 2.75 meters, and it makes a 30 degree angle with the wall. So if we're trying to find work, it's gonna be work is equal to force, distance, cosine of theta, right? Okay, so we know a couple things. We can find force, because we know it's weight, we can find the distance, um, because if we're looking at the f distance spun by gravity, it's gonna be this the amount of vertical elevation it goes. So it's not gonna be this 2.75, it's gonna be this y value here. And cosine of theta, we can also figure that out. So let's go ahead and figure out a couple things. So let's find this force, first of all. Okay, so force is equal to mass times acceleration. His mass is 75 kilograms, and acceleration on Earth is 9.81 meters a second squared by gravity. So that gives us the force is equal to, uh, I don't know, okay, that's all I need right there. I'm gonna plug that right into our equation. Distance is gonna be this y value here. When we're looking at the work done by gravity, we don't care about how far forward or whatever he goes. We're trying to find, um, you know what, actually? I guess you could do it either way you want, actually. Um, oh yeah, okay, I'm just gonna do it this way, watch this. I don't know, I'm kinda confusing myself right now. Okay, so, watch this, okay, so work is equal to that force, which is mass times acceleration. We found it earlier, so 7.5 times 9.81. And then distance, so it goes 2.75 meters, right? But then this cosine, it's not gonna be 30, right? Because uh, the work of gravity, let's see, the force of gravity is pushing this way, right? And then the angle that he's going up is this angle here. So we wanna find what this whole angle is. So 30, and we know that this is a right triangle, we can say that this is gonna be 60 degrees. And then we know that this right here is going to be 90 degrees. So if we add these two angles together, you get 150, right? That's the angle from the force of gravity that he's going. Because we're saying that this is like positive direction. This would be zero. This would be cosine of zero. Going all the way around, it goes to cosine 150 there. So then if you plug all this in, you find that the work of gravity, negative, uh, what is it, 1750? Negative 1750 joules. So that's the work that gravity does on him. Uh, it makes sense, because gravity is trying to push him down. If you're going down, the work of gravity is going to be positive, but he's going up, so he's kind of working against gravity. So gravity is getting worked upon, basically, by this guy. Um, yeah. Okay, next part. Um, what is it asking? It's asking, uh, the, does the answer to part A depend on whether the cl painter climbs at a constant speed or accelerates up the ladder? Okay, let's find out. Um, so we're just looking at gravity here. Now let's look at our distance or formula here. Work is equal to force, distance, cosine, theta. Okay, so force, the force of gravity is always constant, right? Uh, it doesn't matter if he's accelerating. You might look at the distance and say work is equal to force times acceleration, or force is equal to mass times acceleration. Acceleration is going to matter, but that acceleration is always going to be gravity. So his acceleration does not affect any of this part. The distance, obviously, is going to be the same regardless. Cosine theta is going to be the same regardless. So therefore, that's why it doesn't matter if he's going very fast or very slow. It only matters upon the amount of force that gravity acts upon, which is going to be the same unless he gains weight or loses weight, and the distance that he covers, which is not going to depend upon his speed that he travels it. Yeah, so therefore, uh, his acceleration does not matter. It doesn't matter how fast he goes up or how slow he goes up. It's going to be the same uh, force regardless, or same work regardless. Yeah, so uh, that's how you solve this problem. Uh, good luck on your physics homework, guys.